Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. Like many of my videos, Optoma UHD 35 projector here, three meter huge motorized screen over there. And in this video, we'll be talking about why do I use stand instead of a wall or a ceiling mount? And why do I put it on the Xbox One X? I will tell you all the reasons behind this choice because many of you maybe apply this choice. And as you can see at the bottom of it, I haven't just take the cables around a route or something or a canal yet, but I do have a clean power cable canal over there. So uh, until here, this point, it is very clean. And here's my subwoofer from my soundbar. Let's take this thing out and take a look at the reason and why I am using a stand instead of wall mount or a ceiling mount. Welcome to the second part. Here you can see Optoma UHD 35 on a tripod with a custom stand or flat surface just built for the tripod itself. So this is a custom setup, but you can create something like this. We are building that in my country. So if you want to purchase, I will probably leave the link uh, later on when we finish the process. This is three meter length of screen if you haven't watched my earlier videos. The only way to create this size of an image, three meter length of image, I will put it behind the couch. You probably might think that, hey, why not put it on the wall? That's a good idea, but I don't have a wall there. Let's take a look. This is pure glass. So I can't put holes there. And this is a building column. I can't put holes to the building column because of the building safety. So the only place left to me is this place around the column. Here's a space and I just drilled three holes for my old projector, LG HF60 LS full HD LED one, but it has a small size as you can see, but Optoma is not nowhere near a small projector. So if I put it around here, I need to put it until here somewhere, it's gonna look huge. And when you directly come to this room, you will see this huge spot with cables and stuff. But that's not the only problem. If I put it like this, I need to angle to the screen very much like more than maybe 20 degrees. So I need to correct the angle with the keystone correction but I need to correct it too much. So I will later on create another video why we should be straight to the uh, screen with uh, for optical reasons in another video. Let's just concentrate the setup. Why do I use a stand instead of a wall or ceiling mount? Why you should be considering this? And this setup, just take a close look in a short term. This is just change the lens, the Realme 4K dongle, which is quite similar to the Google TV original dongle in the market, Google's own dongle. And this has the latest operation system and it can play anything 4K. And here is my uh, Xbox One X, which is a 4K, uh, six teraflops old, but strong console. So I can play things in 4K. And this is a short cable between the projector and the, uh, as you can see, Xbox One X. And the power cable is coming from Optoma. And the below, as you can see, five volts, let's just close focus, five volts, 1.5 amperes, which means I don't have to use a power adapter. If I put the power projection on, the real me dongle can work anytime. But here you see another cable, as you can see, with Y style. So I have another OTG USB port for my real me dongle. And this way I can put a USB keyboard and mouse. I can connect USB hard drives so I can play my uh, movies or my own recordings directly play from the dongle itself. But the downside is if I play it with the 1.5 amper, I need to put the drive later after the first run of the device because it's taking 
power too much with the dongle together. So this is not a 2 ampere of uh, power output. 1.5 is enough for the device. But if you have another device that uses uh, some sort of a first spin mechanical drive, that could be a problem. And I know this becomes technical, but uh, this is my setup. And why do I do it? Let's just run around it and came to the first couple of reasons xbox one x has a 4k blu-ray player which is i think quite important because this is a 4k projector and if i purchase any 4k uh, licensed content that i can play which i do a lot of uh, full hd blu-rays i can also play my play my original blu-rays and if i later on purchase 4k much more expensive blu-rays i can play it with that so i'm kind of like a old style this kind of guy not everything should be digital in my life i love blu-rays i love cds to listen to music from cds so this is my style so this is one of the reasons that i also use xbox one x one other reason you can go just buy xbox one x or any kind of Xbox One, Xbox One S, because they are old and they are kind of cheap. So you can purchase these devices in second hand, very good price. And all those, all these uh, Xbox devices with the latest update, they can cast videos. So I can cast my from my phone to the Xbox. And if I connect the Xbox One X to the projector, I don't need a smart device. It could work just like my phone casting to the device itself. And and also we have Netflix, Amazon Prime, everything here. So you can use your PS5, PS4 or 5 too, but probably PS5 cannot hold the device onto itself, right? Because of the design. So Xbox One X kind of like a huge, uh, Series X is kind of like a huge. So Xbox One X is ideal. Xbox One S or One, just old model. Those are also okay. But if you're looking for a 4K Blu-ray player, so you should be thinking about the Xbox One X. And it's also 6 teraflops, which is stronger than the Series S, the new one. Mm. Yeah, you might be a couple of missing the new games because of the limitations of the old software. But its hardware is much more powerful than the 4 uh, teraflops uh, from the Series S. So that's one uh, of the reasons. So when I go down, as you can see, I can adjust the height of my tripod so I can roll it up and when I go back let's just go for the wide angle I didn't open one another height adjustment so I can if I put those uh, down too I can extend this leg until about probably 120 or something like this and then if I put the pipe this this pipe inside if i rolled it up i know it will lose the stability a little bit because this is the shortest spot and i recommend this because of the flexibility goes a little bit much more because you're not carrying a, a camera or a smartphone you're carrying a huge projector and also the console is heavy I know it does look small but this thing is quite heavy because the power supply is inside so uh, I think this is the perfect way to go. I haven't, uh, you know, used the rubber band, but if you use the rubber band from here to here, you prevent things to falling. Uh, what this setup can give you, let's just turn around and take a look at this setup. If I want a smaller screen, I can put it in the front. And if I want to carry this setup, I can carry it in every room. Other than that, I can put this thing in its own bag and I can put the projector in the box, original box, because it's difficult to carry huge stuff without hurting it. Then I can travel with it. Like I can go to my summer house if I uh, want to go with my family. And if I want to watch movies over there, I can go there with the projector. So this is a flexible setup. Other than my special reason I don't have a wall to put hole or ceiling is not ideal because of my light fixture that I've told you before. It's coming between the screen and as you can see, I will probably project over here and some sort of shadows will be 
created from this light fixture even i closed lights so it's not ideal for me the being straight position is just can be here or here in my setup let me know what you think and i think the advantages is mobility flexibility if i change the projector i don't have to unscrew it and i am sure the projector is safe behind the couch i can reach the projector any way that i need any reason when i need to i can add another cable i can add another connection and one last thing that i probably uh, forgot to tell you that let's just change the lens xbox one x has hdmi in and out as you can see so this could be also used for another hdmi port too so like a port multiplier uh, the most important thing that you should be thinking that small cables most of the time does not match 4k or 8k quality so if you buy a cheap small cable because these small cables are not regulated like the big ones just look for a good brand and good quality because if you mess up with this uh, you cannot project for 4k from your console to the projector don't forget about this because these short ones come can comes with the dongles are okay but these things are not standardized so uh look out before what what you want to buy and please do buy the right stuff and adjusting the height is quite important later on if i want to project from high level and these devices can be used at schools or any kind of home setup high and low angle and if you have another ball head which i do because i'm a professional photographer over 15 years decades so uh, if i put a ball head i can give any angle that i want to this product but the problem is the xbox one is quite heavy and if you angle it too much that could be a problem but if you just use the projector and uh, not like me with a console on it you can put the console down but i didn't want the console to get dust in it like th this could also prevent dust coming to your console because many of the people just leave the console at below level of ground so that could also create dust uh, as you can see this is a quite clean setup and the projector is quite clean uh, console is when you look at it like this it's quite clean there is not much of a dust so let me know what you think if you think this is a good setup and why if you think otherwise let me know at the comment section below and if you haven't watched my earlier videos about the screen about the tv behind it and why do i, do I create a setup like this and why should be considering setup like this let me know what you think and if you want to purchase some sort of device like this and you can write me down and probably i will give you the link because we are building a custom uh, product to just to fit the needs of the projector lovers uh, later on in our channel you will find the link hope to see you in the next video home cinema and tech review bye from now